An ultrasound guided radial nerve block can provide very effective anesthesia, either combined with another forearm block or sometimes even just by itself, depending on what the ultimate outcome is. To perform the block, here I'm using the PAL scanner on a nerve preset. And I like to go at the supracondylar approach. So I'm going to have the arm bent here at 90 degrees. And I'm coming in transverse, just above the elbow. I'm going to find the humeral shaft. And usually just anterior to the humeral shaft, once I scan, I'm going to find that bright honeycomb structure of the radial nerve. I'll follow it proximal until I'm confident at the structure and I get good access up and over the humerus to facilitate my block. Where I'm going to come in in plane this way from the posterior aspect and slide right in and be able to anesthetize the nerve by putting a donut of anesthesia around it. It's important to note that this is proximal to the bifurcation of the radial nerve, so it's going to include the deep interosseous branch and it will lead to some motor paralysis at the thumb for the duration of the block. But it's highly effective anesthesia for any procedures requiring especially the radial aspect of the distal forearm.